OpenAI reports 800 million weekly active users of, of, of ChatGPT. And, you know, you can do like a kind of a naive chart that says, well, this is how long it took the internet to get, get 800 million users and, you know, ChatGPT has done it in like three years. The other side of that, though, is if you look at the usage data, there's the thwart of 10% of people who are using this every day. 20 or 30% of people are using it every week or every month. And it's one thing to say, well, obviously, it's not 100% of people using it yet. It will take time. More interesting to me is to say, well, why is it that somebody knows what this is? They've got an account. They go to it all. They go to it regularly. They know how to use it, and they can only think of something to do with it once a week. If you'd gone back and said, "Well, Instagram changes the world. I'm, I love Instagram. I use it. I post. I use it once a week." No, you're not yeah. using it then. If you used WhatsApp once a month. You're not using WhatsApp. If you're using ChatGPT once a month, or once every two weeks, or once a week, it hasn't changed your life. And that raises the question: of, Well, why does it need more product? Does it ne or does it need you to change your attitudes and your habits? And the answer is probably a bit of both. There's a classic Steve Jobs quote that you know it's not the consumer's job to work out what the technology is for. It's the technology company, the entrepreneur, the software company. It's the business's job to work out why this is useful.